welcome to this tutorial so till now we have completed these two parts develop on cloud workstation and train model in azure machine learning from this tutorial we will start to deploy a model as an online endpoint let us begin first we have to create handle to workspace let us verify the same the workspace handle works correctly or not here we are getting the location and the resource group that means the handle is working properly let us move ahead now we have to register the machine learning model go to models here we already registered the machine learning model this is the registered name credit defaults model version 1 and type is ml flow let us see the code where we registered the machine learning model i'll open this notebook train model in azure machine learning now scroll down while configuring the command we registered the model here you can see the registered model name credit defaults model and here we specified the same in this object job i'll close this notebook if you have already registered the model then you can skip this step i'll show how to register the model again to register the model first we have to download the model files go to jobs this is the machine learning experiment open this one and this is the job run then go to outputs plus logs and here you can see credit defaults model i have downloaded all these files these five files conda.yml ml model model.pickle python environment and requirements text now i'll upload all these files here first i'll create a folder create new folder i'll create the folder by name deploy create and in this folder i'll upload all these files upload folder i'll upload this folder credit defaults model inside this folder we have all the files select the folder and upload overwrite if already exists and upload folder uploaded successfully now we will register the model i'll refresh under the deploy folder we have uploaded this folder credit defaults model and in this folder we have all the required files to register the model first we have to import necessary libraries from azure.ai.ml dot entities then import the class model we have to import one more class from azure dot ai dot ml dot constants and import asset type now we will create an object ml flow underscore model use the class model first we have to specify the path let us specify the path the deploy folder that we have created and then we have to specify the folder name that we have uploaded credit underscore defaults underscore model then we have to specify the type asset types dot ml flow model let us specify the name of the model we will specify the same name go to models this one credit defaults model paste and at the end we will specify the description 
ml flow model created from local files so we define this object object of this class model this is the object ml flow model now we will register the model ml underscore client dot models dot create or update and specify the object ml flow model let us understand this code again first we are importing the required classes model and asset types after that we define this object ml flow model and this is the class to define this object model and here we are specifying the path of the model type ml flow model name of the model name of the model with which we want to register and the description after defining the object ml flow model we are registering the same let us execute this code and the model is registered successfully let us verify the same i'll refresh here credit defaults model version 2 and type ml flow so we have successfully registered the ml flow model here with the version 2 let us understand how to pick the latest version of the model using python code i'll paste the code here first we are defining the variable registered model name credit defaults model then we are picking the latest version here also we are creating an object object of this class max here we are specifying version and model details as well as name of the model and at the end we are printing the latest model version 2 this is the latest model version you can see same here version 2 let us revise the steps that we performed in this tutorial first we created handle to the workspace then we verified the same after that we uploaded the model here under the deploy folder these are the model files and after that we registered the version 2 of the model as well as we are getting the latest version of the model with the help of python code